Hello Gemini, welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having an amazing day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on the messages that you need right now. So this is going to be looking at all aspects and if a specific aspect of your life comes out, so I'm going to explore it. There is going to be an extended Very interesting. Right. What I'm seeing from these cards, Gemini, is an indication of the fact that for some of you, there's a sense of, you know, being in a set of circumstances that appears to be as if everything is perfect, everything is amazing. Maybe you have a good job or you're married, you're in a connection with a person. Everything just appears to be as if you're conforming to whatever other people want and expect from you. That's a very heavy energy that I'm getting right at the beginning. It feels as if you've been living your life to make other people feel a sense of happiness and you haven't been living your own authentic sort of um vision for your world, for your life. I feel like there's a sense of this card giving me a message that um, some of you may have chosen this sort of conformed way of living, you know, in comparison to the other options or the possibilities that were being presented to you. It feels as if you you know, might have neglected what you really wanted or what you really wanted to do in a specific set of circumstances that were presented to you in the past. Some of you may have even, you know, missed opportunities, right? So the reason why I'm getting so into it right now is because these three cards came through with a very powerful message, especially when you clarify them. It feels like Spirit is saying that on the surface of it, everything seems to be um, you know, amazing. Some of you could be in a good job, you could be doing really well in your life, you could be married to somebody that other people would want to be married to, for example. It feels like, you know, your world is one bowl of indulgence. It feels like that. So if it, this isn't necessar necessarily resonating with you, then uh, you might not be grateful for all the things that you have and the things that are present in your world. But it feels like there's an energy here where there's a discontentment, unhappiness. You know, it feels like you doubt sometimes whether or not you want all of that. It feels as if there's an energy of you wondering whether, you know, what you've had to give up in favor for all of that, was it worth it? It feels like that type of energy is coming across very strongly. So for some of you, I do feel like you could either already be in a connection with a person, but it might not necessarily be the person you want to be with. I also feel as if there's an energy here which is indicating you know, something that has been following you around for a very long time. It feels like uh, this has been coming along with you since your childhood. So, for instance, if you, you know, got one sort of present and your brother or sister got something else, you might have always questioned, would that other toy have made you feel happier? That's what I get from these energies right now. They're very, very heavy. There's something that is making you feel very deeply unhappy in your life. I can pick that up very distinctively. It's like um, you can easily get X, Y, and Z, but you don't want those things. So I feel like for some of you, whatever comes easily to you is something that disenchants you to a very large extent. There's a lot of deep reflecting during this time. It's almost as if you can have the world and it wouldn't necessarily make you feel happy. 
So some of you may have went in, you know, pursuit of one connection versus another connection versus another connection. And you may attach your happiness to a set of circumstances where it sort of, it becomes elusive. It becomes something that is out of your reach and you attach your happiness to that. That's what I get from these cards. So this could be an incredibly eye-opening experience for some of you because you may have to look within and ask yourself, you know, have you attached your happiness to a person that wants to make you happy? Because if that person doesn't feel the same way towards you, or if that person knows in their heart they can't make you happy, it's unfair for you to place your happiness at their foot, expecting them to please you or to be subservient to you. Because I'm getting some sort of detachment from the person that you're dealing with, right? Whomever they could be. So very interesting here. Let's clarify some of these energies. You know, I do know that there are some people that are impossible to make happy. There are some people you can do the world for and it will never be enough. And so those are the type of people that it's always best to avoid, right? So I feel like this can either be representing your energy or it could be representing your person's energy. It feels like there's a part of you that feels like you don't deserve to be happy and you don't deserve to have um, that sense of completion that you're searching for in this situation. This is coming from deep inside of your energy. I see here that some of you are willing to risk everything that you have right now in order to go in search of your happiness, either with a specific person or with a specific situation. And I feel like there's a sense of, you know, you wondering if you take that risk, if you take that giant leap of faith, is it going to bring you that sense of joy that you're looking for, you know? So I feel like it's quite a big gamble that you are taking in this situation. Some of you are feeling obliged to stay because you have certain people that don't want you to leave. This could be your family. This could be people around you. But I feel like some of you are feeling really throttled by whatever it is that you're going through right now. It's like you can't breathe. And I can pick this energy up from you very distinctively. I can sense here that there's a great unhappiness inside of your energy and you may have attached it to, to a person or to a situation that might not necessarily deliver to you what you're hoping or expecting from them. So very important for you to think very carefully and to think very wisely in terms of whether or not this risk is going to be justified. Some people don't want the happiness you have to offer, right? I feel like that's incredibly important for you to look at and to ask yourself, is it a gamble or a risk worth taking? Because I feel like and that's not going to apply to all of you. That's just a generalization because you can have somebody that is wanting to offer a person the world. For example, if you look at Princess Diana's uh, sister, I think her name was Sarah. And she said that she doesn't care if she's dating the King of England or if she's dating a dustman. You know, if she's not in love with a person, she's not going to go for that individual. So that's just a very minor sort of example of... Um, you know, how life plays out and the scale of odds, you know, one thing might be very attractive to one person versus another who might not be attracted to it at all. Some of you could already be in a connection with a person and I feel like, you know, you feel drawn to this individual, but also at the same time, I feel like you're trying to pull your energy away from them. They could be any zodiac sign, it doesn't really matter, but there is an attachment that you have and it could be to a person that you're either married to or already in a connection with. But what I do sense here, there is someone that you fancy, but this person, it feels like when, you know, I try to look into their energy, they're kind of blocked off. They're kind of like, no, don't come closer. It's that type of uh, sense that I get from that energy at this point in time, which is very, very unusual. But then again, 
I don't just read tarot cards. I look at how the energies are interacting with one another and how they're engaging with one another. So some of you are at your wit's end here. Yeah. Let's get some additional cards. There's a situation here that is incredibly stressful for you. I feel like it's pertaining to a specific person or um, a specific, you know, set of circumstances. This person could be younger than you. They could be older than you. It doesn't really matter. But what I do pick up here is that there's a lot of stress connected to that situation. It's a, um, such a level of stress that you can't overcome it. Maybe even like confronting it or dealing with it or facing it is something so, um, you know, troublesome for you that you can't look at it even in the face right so you might even have a hard time communicating with this person or trying to get what you need to get off your chest maybe this person is not open to hearing your emotions or hearing what you have to say and you're the type of person who doesn't just you know you don't just open up to anyone or to everyone when it comes to your very sensitive emotions it takes you time and when you do feel like that this person might not be interested in hearing what you have to say because they might not be um, in that emotional frame of mind right I feel like all you can really do right now is obsess and stress over it and um, you're unable to move this connection forward for whatever reason you're unable to get things going with this person and some of you have dealt with some major sort of pain when it comes to this connection some of you are emulating your mother or your father figure there's some mother or father issues that are coming out in this situation all right very interesting I feel like the plans or the things that you make with this particular individual or the situation that you try to um, allowed to pan out it seems as if you know you're trying to work behind the scenes to get your way you're trying to do things that um you know you want to take further towards your own goal it feels like that there's some sort of plotting and scheming that is happening here and i feel like there's an escape plan right there's an escape plan uh that is being concocted by you in the situation but uh, for whatever reason, for, you know, in terms of the person we're dealing with, they might not be on board with you, right? So I'm going to be exploring the balance of these energies and an extended. I'm going to look at what is really going on. How do you get things moving forward? It just feels like some of you are at a dead end and I feel like a plan is being concocted. I also feel like there's this energy of you feeling at your wit's end. You know, how do you really get things going in the direction that you want it to? Because you come up with one plan, it fails. You come up with another plan, it fails. It feels like the person you deal with constantly undermines you or you know throws you under the bus in a way in which you don't want to be they are either much smarter than you or perhaps you know you're so smart you um sort of um tie your shoelaces wrong for some of you so if you want you can check out the extended have a wonderful day and take care